Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. I know it's been a long time since my last video. That's, there's a multitude of reasons behind that. As you can see, I played a little bit of the game, not too much. We start a new save slot. Once it allows it to. It began like any other morning at Sherry Soda Tower. You rode the elevator up to your Platinum Star Restaurant, Cook, Serve, Delicious and reflected warmly upon your culinary brilliance and managerial prowess. Life was good. Without warning, police, probably the same police from This Is The Police, surrounded Sherry Soda Tower. It seemed company executives were siphoning funds from the corporation, while at the same time incurring a staggering amount of debt, which drained the accounts of the tower and all the businesses inside. Everything was put up for federal auction. Cook served delicious. Was no more. Angry but re determined to rebuild, you purchased a modest commercial space on the 52nd floor of the Terragon Tower, the largest skyscraper in the city, packed with thousands of ravenous tenants. It is here that you will start a brand new Cook Serve Delicious restaurant. Oh, so we're franchising. Build it back to its former glory. Work in other restaurants to rebuild your finances and expand your culinary knowledge and cement your legacy as the best chef in the world. Chef excellence. Good luck. Thanks. I'm going to skip the tutorials. So I have already done them. I've started the game. Uh, what I did in the first time around was went into the food catalogue and bought a couple of things. But I think... I'm just going to go with the default for, for the video. So this is an all new campaign where you can run your own cook, serve, delicious restaurant or work in other restaurants across the tower. Nail perfect orders, complete bonus objectives within CSD or earn medals in other restaurants to earn yum points. Gain enough yum points, you'll level up. Every fifth rank earns you a half star. Get a full five star restaurant to be the best chef in the tower. Good luck. I won't try the tutorials. but. Thanks for reminding me that we are. So we can work in Cook Serve Delicious, or we can work in Max Wieners. Presumably hot dogs. For the sake of the game, we will begin in our own restaurant. We have three foods to start, so we're going to go with pretzels. We're going to go with cereal, and we're going to go with Salisbury steak. We're going to have sides of mac and cheese, and we're going to have a soda fountain. So I'm going to have six prep stations and I'm going to have four holding stations. Holding stations are new to Cook Serve Delicious 2. Um, essentially you can prepare foods to be served immediately, which is definitely an improvement actually. So with no further ado, let's start our new day. We have 20% buzz, so everything's going to be quite slow to start. Daily, earn a five times combo, I'm sure we'll manage that. Earn two perfect days, we'll probably manage that as well, actually. Five delicious orders in a single day. I think a delicious order, from what I can gather, not really played the game very much, maybe sort of five, six hours. But a delicious order seems to be an order served with sides and possibly drinks. Drinks seem to kind of handle themselves. And complete a day, well, I'm sure we'll manage that. Milestones, we're probably not going to touch them. And we'll not touch them for the time being. Let's go. So, immediately start with the holding station. We're going to hold some pretzels. We want classic pretzels. And that's the cooking. We're also going to set up some macaroni. And we have four holding stations, so we may as well. Excuse me. Well, that's not what we're trying to do. So, first order, cereal, we have cornflakes, we have milk, we have bananas. Mm. Perfect order. Pretzel, gone. Pretzel, gone. And they want it inside, so they can have that. Guys, we've earned $11 so far. Chocolate crisps, milk, blueberries. Flush. Sanitize. Easy peasy. So it gives you the instructions for what to do on the right hand side of the screen. I'll go through it on the next order. Oops, it's 
Rush. 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 So we're going to start with the Salisbury steak. So you press one, brings you into that. So we want butter in the pan, we want Salisbury steak in the pan. U, then S. Then we hit enter. Set pretzel. So as you can see, we're running quite low on pretzels and on sides there. Cereal or chocolate crisps, space, milk. Wash glue, sanitize, trash. Throw it in the bin, sanitize. Our Salisbury steak is cooked. We want Salisbury steak and we want standard gravy. Done. And we served it with the sides, so we're going to put more sides on. Rush out. So rush hour, things get quite frantic. Has mushroom gravy. That's disgusting. Got four ready. Steak, mushroom gravy. Got six ready. Steak, and normal gravy. Got cornflakes, milk, and strawberries. We have just cornflakes and milk. Do you not even want any sugar on that? Just me that throws sugar on everything, then yeah. We need to mash this one down a bit and sanitize them. So five is ready, more mushroom gravy, three is ready, onion gravy, that's more like it, I can get on board with onion gravy. Fibre blast, milk, bananas, we want to set the roach trap, we want to sanitize. We want to load the dishwasher, we want to start the wash. Roast, unload, sanitize. Steak, mushroom gravy, butter, steak. It really... The process of it all literally just kind of feels second nature-ish after a while. We want to set more sides up, of course. I uh, kind of forgot about those. Our first set of pretzels have timed out, so we're going to do that. And we're going to set even more macaroni on the go. Pretzel, pretzel. I've hit that too early. That's going to be an average order and it's going to ruin my streak. That's what happens when I don't pay attention. So we're in between the rush hours at the moment. It's a good time to get yourself cleared, ready to go. Just use milk bananas. Rush hour alert, means we're an hour away. Rush hour goes from six till seven. Kind of makes sense. So as you can see, customers have a lot of patience at the moment. This is the leading you in stage of the game. So during rush hour, they have you have 37 seconds once a customer rolls up to actually start the order, which is a long time. It will not stay like that for long. Milk and bananas. Six. So one is ready. We'll go steak, mushroom gravy. Three. Get that to king. Throw the trash away. Fiberglass. Milk. Strawberries. Fiberglass and milk. We have a pretzel to serve. We have a solid steak to serve. So it's all the to start cooking. We have two cereals, fiber glass, milk, blueberries. Chop crisps, milk, blueberries. And uh, number six is ready. So we have steak, onion gravy. Steak, onion gravy. Fire all these on at the same time and we'll go through. Chop crisp and milk. I'm going to very quickly pop them sides on. Serve steak and normal gravy. Set some one timed out. Set some traps. Set five and six ready. And two. And four. Latch cheese sanitize. Open ice seal. Flush sanitize. Trash mash. Sanitize. We 
we do probably want to put more pretzels on, even though we only have an hour left. Because you can't cook pretzels to order, which, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd like the option to do that. Of course, we'd get a Salisbury steak order pretty much at closing time. So we'll sit here for a while. I will have some coffee while we wait for this to cook. You may hear some banging in the background. Don't worry, that's just the rain. It's... It's biblical here. It has been a lot of rain today. And will continue to be, apparently. Mm. <laughs> so that's the end of the first day. As you can see, we had 54 perfect orders. One average order because I messed up. Highest combo was 28. We served 55 customers, that makes sense. 31 of the orders were delicious. So we served a lot of sides today, which is good. We've earned 5% positive buzz. So that will get added to our day tomorrow. We earned Cheese Hill Art. Small restaurant table, mounted wall, wall panel 8, coloured wall, another small restaurant table, another art, another small restaurant table, yum level 1 achieved, new chef for hire levels unlocked. So, as you can see we've unlocked Eaties and possibly a new mission at Max Wieners, let's have a little look. Not entirely sure what standard shift or zen shift means. So Max Wiener seems to serve. Okay, let's find out. Founded in 2010 by Nathan Jill, Max Wieners is a byproduct of a fat rendering plant in Tayhill, Kansas, which looked to diversify its holdings when the comfort food economy suffered a critical blow due to the organic food fad. Jill believed the organic food trend wouldn't actually hold, so while other competitors such as Fat Fawthorn, Sugar Shack and Glaze 24-7 ultimately shut up shop, Jill used his fat rendering plants to create a new type of restaurant specialising in delicious wiener related items. In 2010, the All Wieners restaurant officially opened its doors, however, a hot Miami nightclub filed a lawsuit in 2013 on the grounds of name infringement. <laughs> I like that. Leading the name to be changed to the one we all know and love today. Okay, so we can go shift one, shift two. Let's start with shift one. We'll do we'll do a little chef for hire mission, why not? So we're gonna be learning foods here by the looks of it. Complete the day with fewer than eight bad orders, fewer than five average or bad. No average or bad orders. Let's try and get perfect. But we are going to be learning foods here. So we've got corn dogs. Corn dog latch, easy enough. We've got pretzels. German pretzels. And I think we have sides as well. Oh, we can, we can hold hot dogs, okay. And we can tater tots, onion rings, which Onion rings. Set for oh junk and pick. Okay, that's it. So we have nachos. We want hazel. We want sour cream, and we want jalapenos. U S J. That's straightforward enough. And we have hazel, sour cream, jalapenos, and beans. Just catch up on your red dog there. Flush sanitize. I don't know why a chef for hire is expected to flush the toilets, but... Okay, we have our first hot dog. We would like a premium bun. We're going to the next page. We want cheese. We want relish. We want chilli. We want onions. We want mustard and ketchup. It's the full Monty. Slam dunk nachos. Sour cream. Jalapenos. Beans. Pretzel bun, that's Z. Onions is the next page, and M, mustard, ketchup. We are approaching rush hour, we've got 
a good amount in the holding stations. I think we should be okay here. That was a bit of a mush. Hazel sour cream refried beans. Let's go. Trash. Sanitize. Fill up the ice bin. Why not? Right. Pretzel bun. Z. Onions. N. Mustard. M. Ketchup. K. Just ketchup. Totally dry. Pretzel's fine. Totally dry. We need more onion rings. Regular bun, cheese and chilli. My kind of hot dog actually. Sour cream, jalapenos, beans. Nothing on it. Oh, we're requiring corn dogs. That's problematic. Okay, so sour cream, beans. Regular bun, cheese, relish, Nothing. I'm not even sure what I did wrong there, but I did something wrong. So we're not getting a perfect day, which is, yeah, you know, I'm learning a new menu, that's kind of sensible. Our pretzels are out, which is why I can't serve that pretzel. That's... Our hot dogs are out as well, I'm going to change the cater tots. Hot dogs as they are. Smash that down and sanitize, and pull that. How many insects does a place need? I would like an extra holding station to be fair. We deal with what we've got. So our hot dog is ready. We have a regular bun. We have cheese. We have relish. We have mustard. That's fine. Okay, so sour cream, jalapenos. Load the dishwasher. Begin the wash. Please unload, sanitize. We want to get rid of the corn dogs in there. Start a new set. I pressed the wrong button there, I got away with it. Four, pencil bun. Cheese, ketchup. Five, regular bun. Cheese, chili, onion, mustard. Premium bun, cheese, relish. Chili, onions, mustard, ketchup. Premium bun, onions, mustard, ketchup. Just catch up on that. Okay, so, surfing. Oh, yeah. German pretzels. Sweet, apparently. Regular bun, cheese. Get some more sides on just for the pen. Regular bun with cheese, relish, and ketchup. Pretzel bun and mustard. And that's the day complete. We finished with one average order. 
which is probably the worst place to finish because you know it would have been nice to get the gold but we got a silver and we got some stuff unlocked we've got a table we've got a trash can more art decorative object standard object that's very descriptive. I wonder how much we got paid. I didn't actually look. I should have had a look. It seems to be a couple of hundred. Yeah, that's not too bad. Anyway, I'm going to call this episode here for now. When we come back, we're going to be back in Cook Serve Delicious. But until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.